Today we're going to look at this Kohami 4K video capture device. It's a USB device, so it comes with a USB cable that you will plug into your computer. It also has uh, some headphone jack, so if you want to uh, record your audio for gaming as a mic input. Also, it has two HDMI capture, uh, an HDMI pass through. So this is really good for gamers. If they have a game system, they want to capture it and then put it out to a monitor in real time so that it doesn't uh, cause any lag. Uh, for, for gaming or just for video production in, in itself you want to have a full screen uh, monitor output. I use this for a, uh, a live stream uh, and it worked out really well. Um, now when I live stream, I don't live stream at 4K. I'm pretty much at 720p just because the internet connection that I have, uh, 720p is probably the best bet for live streaming. Pass through resolution up to 4K 60Hz. Recording and streaming resolution up to 4K 30Hz and for 1080p 120Hz. You can find one of these Kahome Ultra 4K Ultra HD video capture cards online and on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description of this video on where you can order one. All right, so I got OBS working here and I got the camera working. I got this. This thing's actually in the wrong resolution. You just hit Control F to make your, the, the, that a full screen in OBS or you can, if you wanted to do a presentation where you had a web browser or the background of your computer, you can move the, uh, the video around there. I'm just going to control off it. Um, so it's really cool, the software OBS, sorry for the uh, thing. So to add your source, I'm just going to show you this. So I'm going to dump my video source. I'm actually using the audio source off the capture device too. I don't know how well that sounds, but I'm really close to the camera, so I imagine it's probably not too bad. Uh, so I'm just going to drop the video source uh, for the capture device. So I'll just show you how to add that. So you click, basically collect your scene, you just add a scene, name it, and then you go in here and go to um, video capture device and OBS. Kind of where the, the um, you see what's going on in here. So it did it by default um, for the resolution. So uh, I'm gonna go with custom settings just so we can play around with that a little bit. So first off, you're going to go for your resolution. Now, uh, this thing is a 1080p camera, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh, frame rates, um, uh, the camera actually does 20, 29.97 frames per second, so I'm going to go with that so it's matching uh, video format. Now, I have it on any. Uh, these other formats worked. Interestingly enough, my other computer in my other room wasn't working with this, so uh, I'm just sort of doing this tutorial over here on this Windows machine. I'm not a Windows fan myself, but I do have a Windows, few Windows machines around. Set up first up your audio capture so you can hear yourself talking. So first we're going to set up a scene. Uh, I got a video capture device. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just start with a whole new scene. So we'll call this um, 4K, 4K capture. Okay. So you start with that. First, I'm going to add my audio reference. This is just uh, so that I have my audio. When I scan to it, I'll still have the audio source selected. So in OBS, you just simply go to your little plus. And you go video capture device. And it's, there it says no video, probably because my camera turned off. Let me go turn that on. Here's all the settings. So it helps if you have the camera plugged in. Okay, I'm off, off shot here, but don't worry about that. 
Uh, so we got four, two, two capture. It actually gives a lot of options here uh, in OBS. So that's kind of a nice um, resolution. I want 1080p. Can it do that? And it's going to play it choppy, possibly. Where are we at with the processor? 10%. Uh, I might drop it. Now, for my streams, I typically stream in 720p. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just I'll, I'll go with that, that format here. So yeah, I have a few options. And actually, the interesting thing with this capture card compared to several others is it does have more options here with the video format. You have a YUYV422 and you have a YCBCR422. A lot of them just to show that you have these emulated for other capture cards. And another I've thing had. I wanted to point out is I do record 4K with this camcorder here, my Canon 4K camera, but uh, not all Canon camcorders put out uh, they'll record to an SD card in 4K, but they won't put out in the, H, uh, the HDMI source in 4K. So a lot of cameras may not have that option. So bear that in mind if you want to go 4K. Um, but uh, in, in the end, uh, this is actually a lot. Uh, I actually find that this card is actually a lot better. I have several of those cheaper. I have several of these cheaper ones, which work fine. Um, this was actually a little smoother. It had a, a little bit nicer um, options in it compared to this version. Now this one, which is like $20 on, uh, you can get them on eBay, Amazon, these, these little HDMI capture things. If you just want to do like 1080, 720p uh, webcam capture, these things are fine. But if you want something that's a little bit better quality, uh, definitely this is probably going to be my workhorse one just because I do find it's a little bit more reliable and has it has a nice nicer setup and it actually also has its own audio capture in it so it has like you can capture audio off the HDMI source or plug a microphone in it and select that as your audio source as well so um, pretty cool handy if you're doing streaming if you're streaming your game system through OBS that would be the primary thing that you can do but if you're using like Restream uh, this will see, this will see um, restreams just basically like a webcam uh, source to your uh, to your computer. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments that I didn't cover, uh, let me know in the description in the uh, in the comments. Maybe I'll do a stream. We'll try this out with uh, Roblox and a or something like that in, in a later stream, uh, just for fun. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. So please hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel and my other social media content. Also, I would like to thank my Patreons and the people who've donated through PayPal Donate with the cost of making some of these videos and buying products to review. Also, if you want to support me over on Patreon or PayPal Donate, it's a few dollars a month to help support production of my videos so that I can continue helping people with tech stuff like this. And thank you to all those out there who has supported my channel and my video work and online activity over these years by subscribing, by liking, by commenting. I really appreciate the interaction with you guys.